But what happened before the Big Bang? What happened before creation? Is there a white hole on the other end of a black hole? Can time go backwards? Are there, Are there other, other dimensions? dimensions? The reason the universe is so different now than it was back then is simply because there was some kind of physics that happened between the moment of the Big Bang and the present day that we still don't yet understand. It is completely true that the universe back then, the density of the universe, right around the moment of the Big Bang, at the Planck time we call it, was approximately 10 to the 97 kilograms per cubic meter. Everybody's heard of the Big Bang Theory. It's the leading explanation for how the universe began, and it says that everything started from a single incredibly hot and dense point about 13.8 billion years ago. From there, the universe expanded and cooled down, eventually forming the galaxies, stars, and planets we see today. Now here's where things get a little wild. Some scientists have come up with an unconventional theory, and it seems like our universe is actually inside a black hole. I know it sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but stick with me, because we'll dive into the reasons why some researchers think this might be the case. The Big Bang Theory has been around for quite some time now, and it's considered the best explanation for the origin of the universe. It all began with a tiny, dense, and extremely hot point called a singularity. Around 13.8 billion years ago, this singularity started to expand rapidly, creating what we know as the universe. The expansion caused the temperature to drop, allowing particles and atoms to form, eventually leading to the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. Let's have a look at how Neil deGrasse Tyson breaks down the key principles of this theory. The tenets of the Big Bang, that the universe started out small, hot, dense, uh, where matter and energy were a primordial soup, where the forces of nature had merged, all of that is thoroughly supported by observations of this universe. Thoroughly supported. Okay, now, there's some things that, well, did this really cause that, or might it be something that we don't know about yet? And who ordered up the dark matter? We don't know where that came from. And where's this expansion? We don't know where that came from, but we can describe it, and we can measure it. But even though the Big Bang Theory has been widely accepted, it still has some limitations. For one, it doesn't explain what happened before the Big Bang or what caused it. And it doesn't quite explain why the universe is expanding at an accelerating rate, which is a phenomenon we've observed thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope. Some scientists have proposed alternative theories to address these questions. And one of these theories is the idea that our universe is actually inside a black hole. Now you might be wondering, how on earth could that be possible? Aren't black holes just massive objects with incredibly strong gravitational pulls that nothing can escape from, not even light? Well, yes, but there's more to the story. Black holes are incredibly mysterious objects, and we're still learning a lot about them. For example, you might have heard of the term event horizon. This is the point of no return around a black hole. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's lost to the black hole's gravitational pull forever. But some scientists think that what's happening inside the event horizon might not be as simple as we once thought. In fact, they believe that the laws of physics might be completely different there. This brings us to the idea that our universe could be inside a black hole. Crazy, right? This unconventional theory builds on the idea of the multiverse, which is a concept that there could be multiple universes out there, each with its own unique set of physical laws. One of the most famous proponents of this idea is the late physicist Stephen Hawking, who suggested that black holes could be gateways to these other universes. Think of it like this. Our universe might just be one small bubble in an endless sea of bubbles, all floating around and occasionally bumping into one another, which I think is a pretty mind-blowing idea. These baby universes would be completely separate from our own, completely with their own unique set of physical laws. Now let's talk deeper about the event horizon which plays a crucial role in the idea that our universe is inside a black hole. The event horizon is a boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. It's kind of like a cosmic point of no return. Once something crosses the event horizon, it's gone forever, at least from our perspective in this universe. Some scientists have noticed some interesting similarities between the observable universe and a black hole. For example, both the universe and a black hole have a boundary the event horizon for black holes, and the cosmic horizon for our universe. The cosmic horizon is the limit of what we can observe because light from beyond that point hasn't had time to reach us yet. 
Another interesting similarity is the way that both the universe and black holes seem to be expanding. As we mentioned earlier, the universe is not only expanding, but doing so at an accelerating rate. Black holes, on the other hand, can grow as they swallow more and more matter. This has led some scientists to speculate that our universe might actually be inside the event horizon of a black hole, with its own unique set of physical laws and properties. But how could we possibly test this idea? Are there any clues in the universe that might point to our cosmic home being inside a black hole? Well, there are. But to fully understand it, I need to tell you more about the so-called Comic Microwave Background, or CMB for short. The CMB is a faint glow of radiation that fills the entire universe. It was discovered back in 1964 by two scientists named Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, who were actually trying to detect radio waves from our galaxy when they stumbled upon this amazing discovery. The cosmic microwave background is like a snapshot of the universe when it was just about 380,000 years old. It's considered one of the strongest pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory because it shows us the afterglow of the hot, dense state of the universe right after the Big Bang. Yeah, sounds pretty complex, right? Well, let's have a look at how Professor Durant explains it. So, the cosmic microwave background is a background hiss to the universe. So, if you have a telescope which is sensitive to centimeters and millimeter waves, so these are approaching radio waves, and you point your telescope anywhere in the sky, there's always a background hiss. It would be like even at night, the night sky being lit up with a certain color, but this is in the microwaves. So what does the CMB have to do with black holes and the idea that our universe is inside one? Well, some scientists think that the CMB might actually be the result of a black hole's event horizon. The radiation we see as the cosmic microwave background could be the light that was emitted by matter just before it crossed the event horizon of a black hole, forever lost to our universe. Now let's discuss two other important concepts in cosmology, cosmic inflation and dark energy. Cosmic inflation is a theory that says the universe went through a period of rapid expansion just after the Big Bang. This idea helps to explain some of the large-scale features of the universe we see today. On the other hand, dark energy is a mysterious force that's causing the universe to expand at an accelerating rate. Scientists still aren't quite sure what dark energy is or why it's causing the universe to expand faster and faster, but it makes up about 68% of the total energy in the universe. So how do cosmic inflation and dark energy tie into the idea that our universe is inside a black hole? Some researchers speculate that the rapid expansion of the universe during cosmic inflation could be similar to the way a black hole grows as it absorbs more and more matter. And when it comes to dark energy, some scientists have even suggested that it might be a property of the black hole's event horizon itself. Again, these are just theories at this point, but they show how the idea of our universe being inside a black hole could potentially connect with other important concepts in cosmology. Keep in mind that our understanding of the universe is always growing and changing. The idea that our universe is inside a black hole might sound far-fetched, but it's just one of many fascinating theories that scientists are exploring as they try to unlock the secrets of the cosmos. As we explore the fascinating notion that our universe could be inside a black hole, we find many scientists debating a range of captivating theories, each one more intriguing than the last, and they're still unsure of the true answer. But one possibility is that our universe was actually born from a black hole, perhaps from the remnants of another universe that was destroyed by a black hole's intense gravitational pull. This idea is based on the concept of a white hole, which is essentially the opposite of a black hole. While a black hole sucks in matter and energy, a white hole would spew it out, potentially giving birth to a new universe in the process. Some researchers have proposed that our universe began when a white hole ejected the matter and energy that would eventually form everything we see around us. As the white hole continued to expel material, the universe expanded and cooled, eventually leading to the formations of galaxies, stars, and planets. If this idea is true, it would mean that our universe is intimately connected to the black hole that spawned it, with our cosmic horizon marking the boundary between the two. Another fascinating hypothesis is that black holes could serve as cosmic seeds that give rise to new universes. According to this idea, when a black hole forms, it creates a tiny bubble of space-time that eventually detaches from our universe and begins to expand on its own. As the bubble grows, it forms a new universe with its own unique set of physical laws and properties, completely separate from our own. This concept of black holes birthing new universes is sometimes called the black hole multiverse theory and it offers an intriguing explanation for the existence of multiple universes. If each black hole can create a new universe, then our universe could be just one of countless others, each with its own history, structure, and fate. 
This idea not only challenges our understanding of black holes, but also opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for the nature of the cosmos itself. As captivating as the idea of our universe being inside a black hole might be, there are several unexpected challenges and limitations that scientists must grapple with as they explore this theory. One of the main issues is the need for unique predictions and testable models that could provide evidence to support the idea. Many of the current speculations and hypotheses about our universe being inside a black hole rely on theoretical frameworks and mathematical models that are difficult to test or verify through observation. For this theory to gain wider acceptance within the scientific community, researchers will need to develop models that make specific predictions about the nature of our universe that can be tested and potentially verified through observation and experimentation. One promising approach to the idea of our universe being inside a black hole comes from the renowned physicist Roger Penrose, who has proposed a model called Conformal Cyclic Cosmology, or CCC. In Penrose's CCC, our universe is just one phase in an infinite cycle of cosmic rebirths, with each phase beginning when a new universe is born from the remnants of a previous one. According to Penrose, black holes play a crucial role in the cosmic cycle by resetting the universe and allowing it to start anew. When a black hole forms, it absorbs all of the matter and energy around it, eventually reaching a point where it can no longer grow. At this point, the black hole evaporates through a process known as Hawking radiation, releasing its stored energy back into the cosmos. This energy then serves as the raw material for the birth of a new universe, setting the stage for another round of cosmic evolution. One of the intriguing aspects of Penrose's CCC model is that it potentially offers a way to test the idea of our universe being inside a black hole. According to Penrose, the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB, should contain subtle patterns or echoes from the previous cosmic phase, which could be detected through careful analysis of CMB data. If such patterns were to be found, it would lend support to the idea that our universe is part of an ongoing cycle of cosmic rebirth, with black holes serving as the driving force behind this process. However, it's important to note that Penrose's CCC model is still a work in progress, and not all scientists are convinced by his arguments. More research will be needed to determine whether the patterns Penrose predicts can indeed be found in the CMB, and whether they provide compelling evidence for the idea of our universe being inside a black hole. The notion that our universe is inside a black hole is a tantalizing possibility that has captured the imaginations of scientists and laypeople alike. Although there are many challenges and limitations to this idea, it represents an exciting avenue of research that could potentially revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos. However, to completely understand the possibility of our universe being inside a black hole, there's one final thing we need to disclose, which is the information paradox, which could help us unlock all the secrets of the universe. When matter falls into a black hole, it appears to be lost forever, including any information that was contained within it. This is known as the information paradox, and it has been a long-standing puzzle in theoretical physics. The paradox arises because the laws of quantum mechanics imply that information cannot be lost, but the existence of black holes suggests otherwise. One proposed solution to the information paradox is the holographic principle, which suggests that all the information contained within a region of space can be encoded on its boundary. This means that the information that appears to be lost when matter falls into a black hole may actually be preserved on the surface of the event horizon. Another proposed solution is black hole complementarity, which suggests that there are two different ways of describing the same physical process. One description is from the point of view of an observer outside the black hole, and the other is from the point of view of an observer falling into the black hole. These two descriptions are equivalent and do not violate the laws of quantum mechanics. Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes emit radiation, which has come to be known as Hawking radiation. The radiation carries away energy from the black hole, causing it to slowly evaporate. However, the radiation appears to be thermal and does not contain any information about the matter that fell into the black hole. The connection between black holes and the information paradox is still an area of active research, and there's no consensus on which solution is correct. However, the study of black holes has led to significant advances in our understanding of the nature of information and its relationship to the laws of physics. The black hole universe theory challenges our conventional understanding of the universe and raises many questions about its origin, purpose, and meaning. If our universe is inside a black hole, it would imply that there are potentially other universes outside of our own and the multiverse theory gains more credibility. 
The potential relationship between black holes, the multiverse theory, and the origin of the universe is an area of active research, and there is still so much we don't understand. However, the idea that black holes can give rise to new universes provides a compelling framework for exploring these questions. The philosophical and existential implications of the black hole universe theory are profound. If our universe is inside a black hole, it raises questions about the purpose and meaning of our existence. Does our existence have any significance beyond the confines of the black hole in which we reside? Is there a larger cosmic order of which we are a part? These questions have been debated by philosophers and theologians for centuries and remain unsolved. The information paradox and its potential solutions have important implications for our understanding of the universe. If information is truly lost when matter falls into a black hole, it would imply that the laws of physics are incomplete and require modification. On the other hand, if the information is preserved, it would have significant implications for our understanding of quantum mechanics and the nature of space-time. The black hole universe theory challenges our conventional understanding of the universe and raises many questions about its origin, purpose, and meaning. The study of black holes has led to significant advances in our understanding of the laws of physics and the nature of information. However, there is still so much we don't understand, and further research is needed to unlock the secrets of the universe. As we come to the end of this journey, we can't help but marvel at the tantalizing possibility that our universe is inside a black hole. This idea challenges our conventional understanding of the cosmos and opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for the nature of reality itself. While there are still many unanswered questions and much research to be done, the theory of our universe being inside a black hole represents a bold and exciting step forward in our quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. It's important to remember that the idea of our universe being inside a black hole is still very much a work in progress. There are many challenges and limitations that scientists must overcome as they explore this theory, and more research and evidence will be needed to determine whether it holds up to scrutiny. However, the pursuit of knowledge is an ongoing process, and the exploration of unconventional ideas like this one can only serve to enrich our understanding of the universe and our place within it.